part 6, reverse operations. You will find this on page 9 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Reverse operations. If you add and if you want to put that process into reverse, you will subtract. If you multiply, the reverse process will be divide. If you square, the reverse process will be to find the square root. And if you cube, the reverse process will be to find the cube root. Now, let's look at example 6. Replace each space with the correct digit. So, we can first test. What did they do? They said 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, they were adding up. So, if I want to find the reverse process, the reverse process of add will be subtract. So, I will say 8 minus 4. So, let's just write it. There will stand a 4. Because 4 plus 4 will be 8. And if I do this one, I will say 9 minus 2 minus 5. So, it's 9 minus 7. And that will give me an answer of 2. And let's just test to see if it's correct. So, it's... 5 plus 2, it's 7, 8, 9. That's the 8, and that's the 8. Okay, I want you to do for me number B. Try now 6, number B. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now 6. Okay, let's do it. Now, what uh, you can even do it without writing anything down, because it's 5 multiply what to get 40. So the reverse process of multiply will be divide. So this will be 40 divided by 5, and that will give me an answer of 8. So it's 5 times, and that block will become 8, because remember, 40 divided by 5 will give me 8, because 5 times 8 will give me an answer of 40. Okay, let's look at the next one. I'm just going to move it up. Okay, example 7. Use the flow diagram to calculate the value of x and y. Now, this is x. So, what you will do is you will find the square root, then you will multiply with 5, then you will subtract 20, and then you will get y. But also remember, if I put this process into reverse, the reverse of subtract 20 will be add 20. The reverse of multiply 5 will be divide 5. And the reverse of square root will be square. So calculate the value of y when x is 64. Okay, put the 64 there. Take the square root. What is the square root of 64? That will be 8. Then multiply it with 5, and that will be 40. Then subtract 20. And as soon as you subtract 20, that will be equal to 20. Now, we can put it into reverse just, just to show you that it's correct. So, if I say 20, the reverse of subtract 20 will be add 20. So, 20 plus 20 will be 40. The reverse of multiply 5 will be divide 5. So, 40 divide 5, that will be 8. The reverse of square root will be square. And 8 times 8 will give me that beginning 64. Okay, let's look at number B. Calculate the value of x when y is 30. Okay, so here's the 30. So the reverse of subtract 20 is add 20. So 30 plus 20 will give me that 50. The reverse of multiply 5 will be divide 5. So 50 divide 5, that will give me the 10. And the reverse of square root will be square. So 10 squared, that will give me an answer of 100. And you can test it by doing it the other way around. So if you take 100, the square root of 100 is 10. Multiply 5, it's 50. Subtract 20, it's 30. And that was the beginning answer. Okay. I want you to do for me try now 7, number A and B. Stop the video, do it, and as soon as you finish, you can continue with the video. Okay. Let's start. We're going to do try now, 7, and we are going to start with number A. So calculate x if you start with 6. Okay, so it's 6, and then I square it. And if I square 6, I will get 
36. And if I then multiply that by 7, so just say 36 times 7, and that will give me an answer of 252. Okay, multiply 7, then divide it by 9. So divide by 9, just press divide 9, and that will give me an answer of 28. So the answer of A will be 28. And you can put it back into reverse to see if it's correct. So if you say 28, multiply 9, so multiply 9, it's that 252. And then instead of multiply 7, you divide by 7, which will give me the 36. And the square root of 36 will give me that 6. Okay, let's look at number B. Calculate x if you have 10 as the result. Remember, now I'm doing the reverse. So if I say 10, the reverse of divide 3 will be multiply 3. Okay, so 10 multiply 3, that will give me 30. Instead of adding 26, I will subtract 26. And that will give me an answer of 4. And then I will not take the cube root. I will cube it. So I will say 4 times 4 times 4. And that will give me an answer of 64. And you can test it. You can say the cube root. You can press on your calculator. You can say the cube root of 64 and that will be 4, okay? You add 26, and that will be 30, and you divide it by 3, and that will give you an answer of 10. That is just to test it.